the grain markets, a big drop by soybeans. That bearish WASDE report on Friday, that data just continues to pressure the futures. Right now, we've given back about three quarters of the rally that we uh, enjoyed last week. It looks like funds are exiting some of their long positions as well. Demand has dropped somewhat. Uh, the announcement coming out of the White House about uh, the phase two, uh, abandoning the phase two agreement with China for now, just because of the tensions that are happening, uh, all those things piled on top of each other with a little bit of respite in the weather. Uh, also just uh, spelled, uh, you know, selling and the market just started to uh, break. And in the last two days, it's broken very hard. Even today, it did gap a little bit lower. The corn also did gap down. Those normal temperatures and moisture uh, across the corn belt uh, just means that uh, the crops are doing very well. I think that the two-day uh, uh, drastic turnaround has really caught everyone by surprise a little bit. It has everyone uh, talking that uh, we're going back to $3 or even below for corn. Uh, that has a little bit of a worry uh, for a number of traders. But of course, all of the short positions that still stayed short are uh, enjoying the, the comeback at this point. But this just tells us that there's a lot of volatility ahead. If China decides to come back in, which they actually did make a few large purchases from uh, U.S. Uh, corn producers, which was promising, but certainly not enough to keep the market higher. Now, 350 was the original objective. We got there, we just could not push it higher. As the same with soybeans, that $9 uh, uh, benchmark uh, really was holding the market there for uh, a number of days, but we could not push higher. And as the market started to turn, uh, just a flood of selling came in and pushed it much, much lower. Now, wheat was also weaker really because of that. The ending stocks did register uh, on the lows from the hard red and the soft red wheat from 2008 to 2015, respectively. And yet the market was lower as it was actually um, pretty steady most of the day, but it just couldn't withstand the double digit losses by beans and corn and really pressed uh, much lower. I thought that uh, the market would be a little bit more steady. $5 still seems to be the benchmark that we're gonna be hanging around for a while. Uh, for the wheat contract. But uh, uh, even today, Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat were also on the uh, you know downside today. Let's see if uh, we we can get a turnaround Tuesday, tomorrow. It looks like that we really press, press a lot harder than I would have expected even at this point in time.